In eight provinces, three territories, and more than 150 municipalities across the country, it is the Mounties who hand out speeding tickets, enforce bylaws, and track down thieves, thugs, and drug dealers. But Alberta wants to say goodbye to the Red Surge and establish its own provincial force. A made in Alberta solution that could be both more efficient, cost effective, and more responsive to the challenges of policing in rural communities and the particular needs of their residents. The union representing RCMP members disagrees. I would think that uh, the commanding officer of Alberta or any commanding officer of uh, the RCMP who does contract policing would probably be somewhat offended by that. Indeed, mayors of some Alberta towns have already said they would get less police at a higher cost if they made the switch. A decision in Alberta in any event is likely years away, but in the meantime, the debate alone could hasten changes within the RCMP. First, can the RCMP be changed in a way that would make it uh, much more relevant, much more humane in the use of force and so forth? Still, MPs from all parties on a House of Commons committee recommended in June that the RCMP should get out of the business of contract policing. But if the Trudeau government agrees with that idea, well, it would find opposition. Canadians that are serviced by the RCMP um, in a contract policing capacity show 75% or more consistently time and time and time again that they are satisfied with the services they receive by their contract policing partner. There's now a new minister in charge of the RCMP. He's Toronto MP Marco Mendicino. His office is not responding to the Alberta report, but the issue is almost certain to reach his desk in this new parliament. David Aiken, Global News, Ottawa.